Hi, my name is Yashesh Mankar. I'm a senior engineer with the ERA team, and today we will talk about ERA's role-based access control capability. Role-based access provides customers to create users and assign one or more roles to these users. Roles eventually map to privileges, which allow access to ERA and its various entities. Let's dive into the details of how to create these users and assign roles. I'm logged in as the admin user. Under administration, we have a new tab called access control. ERA offers four out of the box roles. These are super admin, infrastructure admin, database infrastructure admin, and database admin. The super admin is primarily tasked with ERA administration activities, including configuration and lifecycle management of ERA itself, like upgrades. The super admin can also see all entities across all users. Let us create users in ERA now. We will create two users, Oracle DBA and Postgres DBA. During user creation, we will be asked to assign a default password for every user. As you can see, we could assign one or more roles here. So let's make the Oracle DB a database admin and a database infrastructure admin. Let's create a Postgres DBA as well. Let the Postgres DBA be just a database admin. In this browser session, we are logged in as the Postgres DBA user. This user's view is limited to the entities that were created by this user alone, unless the user is a super admin. This user has a single database instance created the database type is Postgres, and that's the only entity which he sees. But if you look at a different browser session where we are logged in as user admin, this admin user sees two database entities. One is a Postgres database that was provisioned by the Postgres DBA, and the other is a MySQL database, which was provisioned by the admin user. Since the MySQL production database was not created by the Postgres user, his view would not show that database. Here is another example of a system that offers the same level of separation, but this time between a SQL Server instance and a Postgres database. We are logged in as the admin user, which has the super admin role. Because of the super admin role, he can see multiple database instances created across different users. However, let's see what happens when we log in as the SQL Server DBA. This user just sees the SQL Server instance that was created through ERA. This is the power of role-based access control. ERA supports integration with an external directory service like Active Directory for authentication. Under administration and access control, ERA is configured to talk to an Active Directory lying at 10.15.235.251. Let's add a user to ERA that will be authenticated through this AD. ERA allows us to verify that the user does actually exist on the AD before adding it. Let's assign the role of a super admin to this newly created user. And let's give him an email address. As you can see, this new user was added to, to ERA. When this user tries to log in, this time his credentials would be verified against the Active Directory and not with ERA locally. From this point on, this user has the same level of privileges and entity access as determined by his role. If you remember, we gave the super admin role to this user. As a result, he can see all the entities across all users. ERA supports deleting the users as well if you are logged in as a super admin. On the administrations page and access control, we could delete a user. Let's delete the Postgres DBA user. During user delete, ERA will ask you to transfer ownership of the entities owned by that user to other users. You could transfer entities to super admins or to other users with similar roles. Let's transfer the ownership of this particular user to the user we created from the Active Directory. 
Role based access control will be available for new and existing ERA customers through its 1.1 release. It will be available across all ERA supported engines, namely Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, Postgres, and MariaDB. This concludes our demo on ERA's RBAC capability. Thanks for watching.